Okay, we're going to have a little Norwood Stocks prayer lesson. Uh, Norwood Stocks Volume Bare Bones Broadcast or Radio Broadcast is going to help you learn how to pray. Here we go. Oh, weak, 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 and calling on the weak. And, hey, weak, weak, calling on the Lord in prayer. Weak, weak, can you hear me? Weaky, Mr. Weak. Oh, the maker of the earth is weak and can't answer prayer, you know. Weak, 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 and weak, 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 and call on the Lord in prayer. You know that weak, 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 weak. Oh, the Lord is weak, and come on, weak, 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 weak. Please answer prayer, and weak, 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 and come on, answer prayer. You know the Lord won't answer prayer, so weak, 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 weak. Oh, everything going on here, weak, 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 and calling on the Lord in prayer. You know that vulnerable planet, weak, weak, weak. Everything here is weak. Weak, 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 and oh, Mr. Weak, calling on the Lord in prayer. Hey, ho, ha, weak, weak, come on, weak. Well, I called the Lord in prayer in the morning, and I get my supplements and tune myself up, because there's no physicians or, you know, insurance. <laughs> well, since we got insurance, we don't need a diagnosis anymore. I just read an article paper, they're misdiagnosing everywhere. Now they're trying to figure out the odds that uh, uh, you are, I can't imagine. Are you want to cover it with insurance that has no money going into the kitty? Is there any money going into the insurance pool? No! Well, then how can you draw out of it? What you're putting into the insurance pool, does it have any value? No! Hot air! It's overhead! It's written off of no product. There's no surplus. Nothing to write it off against. Hot air! Weak. Creators are mighty weak, aren't they? To allow this thing to get so deceived by itself. I'm pretty ripped. Are you? Enough rip I turn blue right now, but I gotta tell you, this is gonna be a different place in the next second. What am at? Let me at it. Let me at my maker. Let me at it! Why? I watch your agony. You know what your agony does to me? I read the paper and overhear your confusion and lay in the corner and cry and cry. There's something wrong with you. No, there's not anything wrong with me. I go to my maker and say, look at me, I'm devastated. Lord says, good. It worked. It worked. Yeah, it bothers you, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Boy, I'm excited. You're an idiot and weak. Yeah, how do you do? How about you? You watch the agony of this place and grog, you just something happening to you. Good. Now I want to call you out here and let's have a conversation in front of everybody. Because if you're bugged, I want to talk to you. If you're bugged by the whole ambience of it, I'll talk to you. I need days I'm going to set a date. I'll go to a certain place and see who shows up. I want to talk to you. The whole planet, I want you to show up. And I'm going to speak to you on that date. Will you show? You separate you used to. Will you show? I can do it from this little camera and talk to the whole planet. Will you show up? Not in the street. Not plugging up commerce. Not making a scene. No. Show up. I want to talk to you. I'm going to match wits with you if you're bugged by this place. Now, the ones that think, I'm going to prosper in the sewer. I'm going to prosper. Don't come. Stay away. Just like John told you, get the hell out of here. I don't want you around. But John told you, I'll tell you the same thing. And he did. You ain't coming to my pool of baptism, punk. That's what John said. I ain't baptizing you, punk. Oh, the Lord loves everyone. No, the Lord don't. And any minister tells you that's a damn liar. Doesn't know his book. Doesn't know the circumstances of the situation, which is far more sectarial than religious. The Bible talks about sectarial events, not religious ones. It shows how they run from the religion. Back into sectarial and cry. That's what the Bible's about. Hypocrites are doing that. Want to read the Bible? It's a stupid little sto short story again and again and again. It's very repetitive. It's like watching the Howdy Doody show. Mm-hmm. And you can see how the peanut gallery is just really taking it. Again and again. Who's the peanut gallery? The guy reading the book. Really taking it. Suckered again. Mm -hmm. Funny how that works. Or the guy explaining the story thinks you're a stupid and has to feed you a line of malarkey to manipulate your stupidity. Right. I mean, don't sit. Quit it. Say that. Puka, go on. Puka had to get mentioned, and 
I have a puka, ladies and gentlemen. My maker. Oh, yeah, though, I am cursing and carrying on. I'm not big enough to upset it. It will be a long time ago. Take it out on me, punk. You can hit me with all you got. Believe you me, I wrote every punch. You ain't gonna hurt me, punk. You ain't surprising me one bit, punky. Come on. That's what my maker said to me. I call it unconditional love. But it doesn't do me no it's good, does it? Well, I've got unconditional love with my maker, and there ain't nothing I can do right, wrong, or indifferent, believe you me. There ain't no conditions to the Lord's love for me. The Lord built me. I'm like a piece of plastic. And holds me a treasure. Bah! <laughs> That's what I say to that. Bah! That treasure of plastic. Now, now, I did other things after this. Ah! <laughs> uh, how about you? Did you find yourself there? You know good and well you're created, and boy, you're matter in a wet hand about it. This is no place for you when you're built by something priceless and you're priceless. And look at this! Hmm? Bugging you? I want to talk to you. There's some things to get done here. First of all, I'll have a conversation, get another bump on the ballot, offer some kind of remark among us. Instead of somebody tell, we know what you're thinking, we know what you're saying, we know what you want, we know everything about you, we know more about you than you do. Now here's what you need. Shut up! We'll put our heads together and figure this out. We don't need you in the middle anymore talking to all of us, and we don't get to talk to each other, the we of us, and one big mouth that's speaking for everybody. Wrong. You want a big mouth speaking for everybody? Right here. And I tell you, it ain't going to come out like you. There's no grudge involved. When one big mouth speaks for everybody, you pick up a grudge and you're going to get, if there's any grudge and we'll do later, with your maker, not you. You are priceless. And look at yourself that way. Move, humanity. Each one of you. I catch you fighting. I'm going to take your heads and bang them together. Your heads? Yeah. You and your maker. Your heads get banged together. You and your maker are fighting and you're taking it out on everyone else here. Aren't you? Well, then square up with your maker, because that's who you're mad at. No one else. You got hate crimes, all right? Your maker hates your guts, and you're pretty bugged about it. Well, go do something about it. You know your hate maker hates you, or you wouldn't hurt so bad, dummy. Go get that fixed. Come on. Go have the conversation with the one that hates you. Your maker. With unconditional love. Move! Your maker has unconditional love and hates your guts. How you like it? I call that a dilemma. You like it? Well, that's where you live. Like it? 